everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new welcome back if you're not if you are a lover of all things beauty handbags luxury and fashion you've come to the right place my name is Cece and welcome today we're going to be talking about a collab video that I had the pleasure of doing with Lula West Lux I'm going to include all of her information including where you can follow her on Instagram and YouTube down below in the description box but Lula and I had the pleasure of getting together recently we went to the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey and we visited four boutiques including Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Saint Laurent. And the goal of our collaboration was to figure out what you could get at each of these high-end luxury boutiques for $2,000 or less. We know that we are in the thick of tax season and some of you may be getting a nice tax return. So if you're looking to splurge or spoil yourself or maybe just buy yourself a little treat, we have some suggestions for you from these four boutiques of what you can get for $2,000 or less. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on Hermes. Given my recent decision to jump on the Hermes journey, I'm still a little unsure, I'll be honest, I'm still, toying with the idea of perhaps venturing into a pre-loved or vintage Hermes option. For now, I'm going to jump on the journey of Hermes and I figured I would start off with that store and figure out and share what items you can purchase for less than $2,000. These are items that I myself would purchase and most of these are already on my wish list. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now I have my phone here for reference because I'm adding these items to my wish list. And of course I'm gonna pop them up on the screen for you so you can see them. I will also try and include links to each of these items down below in the description box. But as always, if you have any questions or need any more information, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and of course that notification bell down below as well so you will be notified anytime i release a new video the first item and i'm not going in any particular order now you know that i love anything that is kelly related now i don't know if the kelly belt is or the kelly bag is the quota bag that i would go for i think i'm gravitating more towards a birkin simply because of the fact that you can wear it in a very comfortable relaxed sort of low-key way and i love that about the birkin but i do love and appreciate everything that is kelly related so of course i had to start off with the kelly pocket 18 belt. I love this item because you're getting two for one. It retails for $1,825. Now, of course, depending on where you're located and what your tax rate is, this might slightly bring you up beyond the $2,000 threshold, but I'm going by retail price only, not including tax. And for this item, I think with the Kelly Pocket 18 belt, you're getting, again, two for the price of one. You're getting a little SLG, a little wallet, as well as a belt. So what better way than to get yourself two for one items? It's one of the reasons why I'm loving it. And I think it's super cute. You can wear it very casually, especially if you're just running errands and don't want to be bothered with a handbag. You can kind of just wear it on your belt in one. The next item is the Bolide Cosmetics Case. This is in the size medium. It does come in two colorways, but I personally am loving the orange because it just screams Hermes. It's the traditional Hermes orange color. And the Bolide has become quite popular recently, particularly this cosmetics case. Compared to other cosmetics case from designer boutiques, I find this one to be a fraction of the cost. It may be because of the material. You're not getting leather per se. If I take a closer look, it looks like it's canvas, but it is still super cute. And what I like about the canvas is a little less fuss. You don't have to worry as much as you would with the leather and water and something leaking. The canvas, I think you could probably clean it much easier than you would leather. There may be some options to have it dry cleaned as well. The next one is the Stole. So this is called the New Libri Stole. This one retails for $1,150 and it comes in about six different colors. I personally love the beige color. 
the light pastel blue and of course the black but you can't go wrong with any of them i think they are really beautiful it's a gorgeous scarf it's very long and it looks like the material would be very soft and warm especially for the winter colder months you can wear it as a shawl you can it around you and wear it as a scarf and it's very minimalist it doesn't scream Hermes but it does have the Hermes logo if you look very closely it's got that nice Hermes detail which I think is really beautiful I love the Hermes shawls and their scarves and twillies there is an Hermes shawl which I'm going to flip up on the screen here I like the idea of the shawl because it's a little bit longer you get more fabric so you can wear it in a multitude of different ways you can really wear it as like a nice scarf or a shawl and cover your arms especially if you're going out and with the summer and spring months sometimes it gets a little cooler than expected you can throw it in your bag during the day or accessorize your bag by tying it around the handles which I love about Hermes scarves and shawls and then as it gets cooler into the evening you can wrap it around your shoulders and wear it very elegantly you can wrap it around your neck you can wear it as a hair scarf I mean there's so many versatile different ways to wear Hermes scarves and shawls actually there's so many I haven't quite decided on which shawl I want. Their retail price ranges anywhere from $415 to over $1,000, but all of them are well within the $2,000 price range, maybe with the exception of one or two that are above, but typically they're about $1,300 and I am looking to incorporate one into my collection. I think it would be a nice addition to have especially as I mentioned with the summer and spring months coming and sometimes you get that little unpredicted weather it's a nice travel item as well so rather than bringing a jacket or a sweater you can bring the shawl with you and gently wrap it around you if it gets a little bit cooler it's lightweight it's easy to travel with you can very easily wear it and dress up your outfit when you're traveling Gosh, there really is so many beautiful shawls I just can't decide there's so many gorgeous ones they even have a poncho which is beautiful their selection of scarves and shawls and it's just it's just so beautiful there's nothing like a classic Hermes scarf and shawl and I do think that they do hold their value and retain their value I know some people actually collect them as artwork and have them framed and on display in their home which is also a beautiful way to wear it but I'm a firm believer of wearing my work of art and of course I consider Hermes scarves and shawls to be a work of art so why wouldn't I want to wear it and share it with the world. Now we're going to venture into homeware. There's rumors on the street that say if you purchase a homeware good, you're more likely to be offered a quota bag. I don't know if that's true. It may just be a rumor. At one point, it was said that if you purchased an Hermes H blanket, you were more likely to be offered a quota bag. Don't know if it's true. I may try it. We'll see. But I do love the Hermes throws and the blankets. I really think they are classic, beautiful pieces, and I would love to add one to my home office. I love the um, Avalon blanket, which retails for right around $18, $1,900, but there's so many different ones. They also have the pillows. The throw pillows are really beautiful. They were right around $800. Some here that are like $5,600. Probably wouldn't go for those. I'd probably keep it simple. There's an H Riviera blanket for $2,000, which is really pretty. Pillows are just beautiful. And I can totally see myself decorating this chair with a nice Hermes pillow. I think it would look so beautiful in my office. But I think if I had to choose, I would probably go with one of the Avalon throw blankets. It's your generic, typical Hermes blanket with the big H's on it, the big H patterns. They do have a Cheval Cabrolet blanket as well, which retails for $1,900 and also very pretty. It's basically like the horse on carriage. And I love the Avalon pillow. That one retails for $790. So you can't go wrong for any of these. And of course, I mean, if there is a chance that I'll be offered a quota bag sooner for purchasing one of these items, why not? Again, the options are endless. They have so many beautiful options here on their website. So gorgeous. 
the detail, the pattern, it's just so beautiful. Sticking with homeware, it was also one said that if you purchased any tableware settings or tableware pieces, you were also more likely to be offered a quota bag. Some say that the reason for that is because certain items at Hermes have a higher commission rate for your SA. So of course, if your SA is willing and able to sell you an item which grants them a higher commission, why not? They would probably be more likely to offer you a quota bag. Again, this may all be hearsay. I don't know if it's true or not, but nonetheless, I am loving their mosaic tableware. They're absolutely stunning. I don't know if I would go so far as to purchase a full tableware set, but I do love their teacup and saucer sets. I love their little platinum trays and they have a coffee cup and saucer set. It's one coffee cup and one saucer, which is $270. But for under 2000, you could treat yourself to a lovely, you know, nice dual set and still be able to buy yourself a scarf or twilly in addition to that. I think, again, the mosaic set is super beautiful. If I had to, I would probably opt for the coffee and saucer or the teacup and saucer set. They also have a mosaic platinum box for $275 and the mosaic platinum square plate for $150. Um, the square plates are really beautiful. I would probably say if I had to, I would do a set of two coffee and saucer sets with the platinum creamer set in the mosaic and just have that as a nice afternoon treat. If my husband and I are having coffee together, we can have it in a nice luxurious piece of artware. Hermes also has some really beautiful coffee mugs, which I love. They have a mosaic 024 gold mug for $210. They have a lot of the sets with the saucers. They have an H Deco coffee cup and saucer for $165. The Epoppy boat mug for $230. I'm probably butchering those names. If I had to choose one of their mugs, it would probably be the Mosaic Gold mug for $210. I think that one's really pretty. Very simple. And I'm more of a mug person when I drink coffee personally but I do like the look of having the coffee saucer with it as well. Silly as it may be, they do offer swimwear as well. So searching on their website, I've come across a couple of swim trunks, bikinis, and bathing suits. I personally wouldn't opt for an Hermes bathing suit or swimsuit, but they do have what they call an En Rue Libre Ario for $710, which is actually a sarong. And they do have it paired with the matching bikini set but I love this sarong and I think wearing a sarong to the beach is so classy and beautiful and it's a nice way to sort of elevate your swimwear. This is a piece that you could also probably wear as a scarf or shawl, so it is a little versatile in how you wear it, but based on the website, it is looking like it's meant to be a sarong. It looks like a very thin linen-like material. I'll try to flesh it up again, but it goes for $710, which isn't bad. Venturing into Hermes fashion jewelry, which I am a fan favorite, I do own a Click H bracelet, which I absolutely love, and I love to stack them. I think they look really pretty. They do have a wide range variety of different Click H bracelet options within their fashion jewelry section. So they range from what I'm seeing anywhere from $395 to over $1,000, but generally the Click H bracelet will range for about $700, $650, which I think is very reasonable. You could get yourself a Click H bracelet and maybe a pair of shoes or a Twilly or maybe a Click H bracelet and a scarf so you have more than one item. I am personally loving have the generic Click H bracelet, which I may consider getting in a different color. This one retails for $700. They also have a Kelly Double Tour bracelet for $630 which is leather with that gold detail. They have it in the brown color or the black. They also have the Collier de Chine, de Chine, I'm butchering it, 24 bracelet for $910 as well. I love their bracelets. I think they're very pretty and I think they elevate an outfit. I like wearing my Click H bracelet because you can dress it up or down. I'm actually comfortable wearing it to work, but I also will wear it on the weekends when I'm out with friends or shopping. And I They also have a lot of pretty necklaces and pendants in the fashion jewelry section. They have the mini Pop H pendant for $470, which is an enamel little H on a necklace, which is pretty. 
I personally wouldn't get it, but I do think it's nice. I like their medallion necklaces a little bit more, which are upwards of $730 to $980, but I think those are really pretty and I think would pair well with my style. The pendant is a little more understated. It doesn't have an H, but it does have some designs and uh, comes in different enamels and colors. So those are really pretty. I'm just scrolling through. Was once said that if you purchase the mini pendant, the mini Kelly pendant, uh, you were offered a bag. Again, I don't know if any of that is true. I personally would not buy the Kelly pendant. I just, personally, I don't want to wear a bag around my neck. I just, it's just not me, but it's all personal preference. If it's something that you like, I would say get it. And it is well within budget. Um, it's below $1,000, which is nice. They really have a lot of options under their fashion jewelry. Now, let's get into their small leather goods. They have so many beautiful SLG options that I love. I love the Ulysses MM notebook cover for $460. They have travel tags for $640. They also have the Bastia change purse, which is really pretty for $265. And a silk in change purse for $600. $140. So they have such a wide variety of options, well below even the $1,000 mark, including little mini notebooks. They have a Esselier card holder for $890. I personally really like the change purse. I think they're really pretty and it showcases their leather. They also have a card holder. They have the Oran Nano Charm, which is really cute. I personally wouldn't buy a nano charm without having the bag to put it on, but I am a fan of their SLGs and their compact wallets and notebooks. They are really pretty. The change purse, I think, is very reasonably priced at $370. Notebook cover is also very pretty. If you are a notebook or planner person, I have my Louis Vuitton GM monogram agenda planner, but if I were to venture into a Hermes one, I would probably get one of these notebook covers and I love it because it's so understated. You could wear it to work and nobody would know. And those, and they have passport covers too. Those like the Ulysses PM notebook cover goes for $340 and the Ulysses mini notebook cover goes for $260. They also have passport holders at $265, which are really pretty. And they also come with the agenda refills you can purchase for 2024 for $220, which is a nice option. I would probably go for either the coin purse, the card holder, and maybe a notebook cover. I think those are good options. They also have the Silk in Classic Long Wallet if you wanted to invest in a full wallet for $1,700. These change purses are so cute. I really like the long wallets too. The Burn Wallet, which is probably my favorite, ranges at $3,775, so probably not an option for this video, but that's okay. There's so many good options. They also have tech accessories too. Let's go into belts because belts is something I've been looking at. I love the Kelly belt. I like the Ancre belt buckle and reversible leather strap, which goes for $620. I think that that's very reasonable compared to other designer belts. This is actually much cheaper than most other designer belts I've seen. It's actually very reasonable. They have the H Martelli belt, if you're interested in that, at $985. The Lucky 15 reversible belt is very pretty at $820. The Kelly 18 belt goes for $1,125. And I will try and flash it up on the screen for you. It comes in a multitude of different colors. So I'm looking at the Noir, which is the black, but it also comes in Anemone, which is like a purple fuchsia kind of color, and the black color, of course. I think it also comes in a brown. It's very pretty. I really like the Kelly 18 belt. And then of course you have the Kelly pocket 18 belt, which is really pretty. You get the belt and the little change pocket two in one. Do you see the brown color? I'm only seeing the black, which I would probably get. I love the black, very pretty. 
Okay, now we're going to get into shoes and sandals. And I am a huge fan of Hermes's shoes and sandals. If you watch my recent video, you know that I recently purchased a pair of Orans, which now go for about $760 to $780. This does range depending on which kind of Oran sandals you get. They do have a super cute pair of fuzzy Oran sandals. I know they're trendy, but I have been eyeing them nonstop. I think they are just so cute. They also have a pair of Easy 30 sandals, which is like the Oran, but it's a platform that goes for $780. It comes in two different colorways according to the website and what's available on their site now. But the Orans come in so many different colors, you can't go wrong. They also have the Ensense 50 sandal for $1,000, which is like the Oran with a slight heel and a strap around the ankle. The Oasis sandal is another fan favorite. The Oasis goes for $990 and also very beautiful. And of course, you can't go wrong with a pair of Chypre sandals. Chypre, Chypre. I can't believe I always mispronounce it. Um, I'm looking on their website. They do have the black and white, which is a color I was looking at. They don't have my size though. So I'm searching on their website and I guess because I've been on their site looking at so many different items and recording, it says I've been blocked from their website. Wonder if that's so interesting. So it says something about the behavior of the browser has caught our attention. There are various possible explanations for this. You are browsing and clicking at a speed much faster than expected of a human being. Something is preventing JavaScript from working on your computer. There is a robot on the same network as you. This is so interesting. It does give you an option to submit feedback, which I'm trying to do, and it's not letting me. I've been blocked from the Hermes website. Unbelievable. Let's try again. Yep. I kid you not. I'm guessing from browsing, and I am trying to record as I browse so that I can include it in footage for my video for this video. I guess it's picking up on that, and it's not letting me access the site. Um, definitely go for their Orans, their Shipreys. I'm also loving some of their sneakers and their mules, their slip-on mules. So check out their website. They have a wide range variety of different shoe options for well within the, the $2,000 budget. If you're also looking to purchase something for your special someone, your loved one, they have a variety of different options in both the men's and women's section that you can't go wrong with. I think we've covered a lot. So we've got belts, we've got jewelry, we've got homeware, we've got shoes, bags. Now I don't know if the Eveline, the TPM Eveline, which is like their smallest size, the mini size, I know it used to be for below, it used to be available for below $2,000. I don't know if it still is. I'm curious to know what it retails for now. I'll try to pull it up and flash it up on the screen, but this may be the only bag available for less than $2,000. If I can find more, I will include them in the links below for you and flash it up on the screen for you as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking it out with with me despite being blocked from the Hermes website. What are you going to do? Thank you guys again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notifications button down below so you get notified anytime I film a new video. Thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, bye!